Hello everyone. It's Godzilla 1975 here. And today we're going to talk about the dark truth about Grubhub. But first, I want you guys to see the sneak peek I pulled up. It's called Godzilla vs. Stay Puff. This is a sneak peek that I created by myself. Also, I got the design from other viewers, so yeah. See ya. Or you could watch the sneak peek. Get to it. It's moving so fast. How can you ever stop it? This war is between Marshmallow versus Tigress. <laughs> 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 Yeah, here we go. Godzilla vs. Stay Puff Marshmallow coming May 5th. Uh, scratch that. It's coming March 5th. I didn't want to go this date, so yeah, I waited. But still, coming March 5th. Okay, now that's concluded. Let's get some light in here, please. Thank you. And now, Grub Hub. You may think the Grub Hub ad is a normal Grub Hub ad, but what you see is the dark truth behind it all. Grub Hub is lying to you. This is why they are putting drugs in the food, drugs in the drinks, drugs in the condiments. Well, maybe not all the condiments. But still, why are they putting drugs in their food? Because they want everyone to be addicted and to make everyone believe that Grubhub is the first or the best worldwide food service ever. Why, you ask? Because they want enough money to get their own stuff, like teleportation devices. That's why they've been running out of Grubhub workers ever since. That's why they can no longer afford Grubhub workers to ever work at Grubhub again. I need to find out the Grubhub location. All right, now let's start with the first, the boogeyman. So, you know the first Grubhub ad. The first Grubhub ad was placed in 2021. Uh, it was on January. I don't know what today was, but it was clear. It said, that the 
that the characters have dark hallucinations. And you know why are they looking into the screen? Because they are begging for help. That's because they have been forced by their own will by Grubhub. They're controlling them by puppets. Like puppets, perhaps. But as you know, there is only one character who hasn't got addicted. The Boogeyman's kid. It's because he hasn't eaten a chicken sandwich before he ate it, or else he wouldn't believe. Or he would have got hallucination like his father. But he danced anyway. The kid already knows about this, but he needs to tell the world. That's why they placed him at the age of five or seven. That way, he cannot talk to them all. That way, the Grubhub ad would stay in control. That way, Grubhub will be the most powerful fast food service on the world. I have an incoming report. It's about a question. Okay, one of you, all of you may be asked this question, so... Question one. Why are they replacing Grubhub workers with teleportation devices? Well, it's because since the workers move so slow to 20, to 10 to 20 minutes, they they use the Grubhub teleportation devices to make it even more faster. That way, they could that way they could put in the drugs faster and deliver them to the people who pay for Grubhub forever at dinner. If you don't believe me, check out the video of Grubhub Dark Tree. Also, here's another question. Question two. Why are they begging for help like puppets? Well, it's because since they're holding the characters or the people of Grubhub ad on their will, they cannot escape because they are looking at the camera while they're eating their drug food. This is why I need to do something about it, like the kids said. Now, this is the last question. Question three, will the kid be able to stop the Grubhub franchise at the age of five or seven? Not really, because he's only five or seven. So the people won't listen to the kid unless he's at the age of 23. That will be clear enough. Anyway, that's the dark truth. See you guys later. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think of the Grubhub ad and what I should do about it. Also, God Delivers the Stay Puff is a reminder, coming May 5th. Bye-bye.